No. It's National Roller Coaster Day. That's right. I love roller coasters. You know what else I love? No. Apple butter. Cool. Peanuts. Yes. And 5Ks. No. Oh man, can I ever relate to that? No. Um, but let's get right into it. So Dorney Park has released maybe a teaser. I mean, it looks like a teaser. I have no idea. Like, comment down below what you guys think. But I've been, everyone's been sending me this video. I spent some time watching it. And then the more I watched it, the more I was like, oh, well, yeah, this looks like a teaser. So overanalyzing it a bit, let's overanalyze it because sometimes that works out in your favor. There's a lot of American flags and a lot of American references. Yes, it's an American park, but I feel like it's done on purpose. Um, I, I don't know too much about this park and its history and all of that, but they definitely make a lot of very American references. And I don't know if I noticed that because I'm Canadian or, um, or not, but help me down below. Comment if like you're an American and you've noticed, you noticed the very American references in this video. I also noticed that, you know, on the computer screen, I think everyone noticed this, that it's got like the old dinosaurs alive location and the rumored location of that. Um, attraction that everyone thought uh, was coming to Dorney Park and it turned out to be uh, fake, the blueprints for a wooden coaster. But if you look around the office, there's a lot of references to wooden coasters in here. The only thing that confuses me is there's a reference to a steel coaster at one point too. And as you notice from my videos from Canada's Wonderland and the marketing team interviews, they like to throw people off. It's a lot of fun and it makes sense. So don't take everything you see in a teaser video too seriously because sometimes they're trying to lead you away. Now what's interesting is um, it says amazing looks like 2019. They have a to-do list. Now the video quality is in 720p and it was nearly impossible to figure out what some of these things were saying. I wish it was in 1080p. I would have been able to enhance the image better and figure some things out. So comment down below if you've had any luck figuring out what the to-do list says. Um, I don't think it's going to give you any solid information, but there is definitely a lot of references to wooden coasters. There's an American coaster enthusiast reference. Um, she's reading a book on coasters, which then flips to a page for top 10 steel coasters in the world, which I have a screenshot of. There's a roller coaster tycoon wooden coaster in the background. Um, and uh, they're definitely hinting at what would appear a new coaster for 2019. Now, I have noticed a lot of overhyping going on by Cedar Fair lately. Um, it, that wasn't the case for Canada's Wonderland, thank goodness. It's not going to be the case for Carowinds, thank goodness. But Kings Island definitely got slightly overhyped, and that's what concerns me here. I'm not sure what Dorney Park is getting in 2019, but we are definitely seeing a great teasing campaign in this video. Now, I'm just a little alarmed after what happened to Kings Island to jump on a coaster bandwagon, as you know, many Kings Island fans were expecting a little more than antique cars. Now, I'm not one of those people that hates the antique cars installation because I think everything's great that a park gets. Um, I'm definitely one of those parks that don't always get good things, but let's not get too excited so we're not let down. But I will say this teaser does look slightly promising for a coaster in 2019, and I'm kind of shocked that they just teased it on National Roller Coaster Day and started their season best sales without announcing it. Normally, Cedar Fair likes to announce their coasters and then start selling season passes after the announcement. So that's what intrigues me about, is this going to be a coaster or not? Regardless, this was a really cute video. It was super well done. It was super funny. Um, I wish I could see more of these videos by a lot of other parks, including Six Flags and all that. I am loving the Cedar Fair teasers this year, even if they don't end up being bigger coasters. I find them very interactive. Um, they're fun to watch, they're fun to participate in, and they're unique. Um, I'm not used to this. Um, even the the um, setup that Canada's Wonderland has with the announcement of the coaster, it's like back to the old Paramount days where they set up TVs and a giant display. I'm loving what Cedar Fair is doing. It's paying off. And uh, obviously it's getting everyone interested, even if it e ends up being a smaller edition. And remember, these teasers are directed at general public. Regardless, it looks like Dorney Park may be in store for something exciting in 2019. And it looks like if I had to take a guess, it's going to be a wooden coaster. Um, probably Great Coasters International, a GCI. I think they're cheap. They're very well done. And even if it's small, they have a powerful layout. Um, so what do you guys think? I want to hear from you down below as I don't know too much about this park. And I'm going off of teasers and what people are messaging me. Comment down below what you think. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And share this video for others to watch. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.